terms of you know how how important was that buy for you guys? And I guess on the flip side of it, how eager you to get back out there after uh, after that New Mexico game? Oh, it was very important for us to get some rest and uh, the guys get healthy again. Uh, now it's time to move on to UNLV. What was you know what was what was kind of the focus? You know, obviously that I'm sure that New Mexico game bothered you guys maybe for a while, but you know what what was kind of the focus these last couple of days? Uh, move on and get better. Try to close out games. You know, we haven't been doing well with that, so uh, we're trying to figure out ways how we can close games and, and put teams away. You you won't know for sure until you're in that situation. But what what can you guys do to close out games? And what have you been kind of working on? Uh, knock down free throws towards the end. Um, also play defense. You know, try not to let them get threes off or twos because like threes are part of the way that they can come back and uh, if we not let them shoot, not let them get to their spots and stuff, we should be fine. We talked a lot about, you know, missing Derek this year and kind of that, that guy's going to take over down the stretch in games and want the ball in his hands for that final shot. I mean, are you a guy maybe that needs to, to demand the ball a little more in late game situations? Are you a guy that wants the ball maybe in your hands a little bit more in the future? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, guys are keen in on Drimmick now. He's shooting well. Uh, Mikey, they're keying in on Mikey getting to the basket and stuff like that. So uh, I think if I if I get to my spots, I feel like I, I can't be stopped on that. We've seen you at times in second half take over games already, whether it be the post or whatever. I mean, do, do you, is that something you, you hope in these next four games and going forward that if you're in that spot again, maybe you're a little more vocal or saying, hey, let me let me get the ball, some more touches down low? Yeah, I think so, because uh, if I start scoring down there, it's going to open up the floor for everybody else on the perimeter shooting, like Lonnie getting shots and Drimmick and Nick. So uh, I think it, me being more aggressive will help the team. We heard from uh, Coach Rice that you know Vern Harris and David Hall, two of the refs from the Colorado State game, are going to be doing the game tomorrow night. Uh, he was saying, hey, it was, you know, it was a clock, it was a technology thing. It, it, he would call it the same thing. I, I know you guys were outspoken after the fact, but uh, what, what do you think of them coming back for the first time uh, to talk about Arena tomorrow night? Uh, that's fine. I mean, I have no problems with the refs. Uh, I mean, you know, it's in the past. I really don't try to think about it now. Um, like, the fans probably won't be giving them a standing ovation or anything tomorrow. Though. Probably not. <laughs> you know. how, how, do you like, how do you like playing the 9 o'clock game? It's fine. That's what I like back home. So, uh, you know, most of the time we play midnight ball back home. Uh, so I'll be ready. I'd rather that than the early games. The uh, you know when you when you look at you know you're playing UNLV again and obviously you know that that was a game that I'm sure it was one of those games where you, you know you didn't have the best second half. Uh, you know when you think about that you've, you maybe seen that team play their best. You know how how much does that help you guys get ready for tomorrow? Uh, it helps a lot. You know um, we're we're still on our mission even though despite what everybody else is saying our fans and things like that we uh, we, we know what we can do and how good we can be. We just got to put it together. Uh, you know, they're missing some players. We don't know if they're going to play yet or not, but uh, we just got to worry about us and, and come to play. You, 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 you kind of mentioned, you know, obviously, you know, some of the fans and stuff are, you know, they've been upset about how, how these, some of these games have ended and stuff like that. Are you guys just upset or what's your feeling since you're in it? But, you know, how, how do you kind of describe how you feel? I mean, yeah, we're upset. We, we don't play to lose. Well, I know I don't play to lose personally, but I, and I'm sure everybody else in the locker room feels that same way. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's basketball. It's a game. You can't worry about what everybody else is saying. If you worry about what, what they're saying, then it, it's just going to turn out bad. But if we just do what we know we can do, play our game, uh, you know, just move the ball, get everybody in the rotation and things like that, I think we'll be fine closing out this season. Does it speak to kind of where the, where the program is now, where there, there are now those expectations where people expect you to win, where it's supposed to maybe before be like, oh, they have bad luck. But, you know, you, you guys have kind of built it up to, to the point where people kind of now expect it. Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, Winning the title yes, uh, last year, you know, it, it just put a big expectation on us this year. So, uh, you know, I think we'll be fine. We, we can live up to it.